Greetings, Raven. Thank you for accepting this commission, and welcome to Kuamar. For the past 20 years, it has been controlled by two people, President Omar al-Baka and his wife, Bibi Rashida. Their regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere, till now. We have actionable intel Kuamar is planning an offensive against a neighboring state. A war here is unacceptable. It will disrupt the whole region, inflating global oil prices. The conflict was triggered by the assassination of President al-Baka. His wife has taken power, but her grip is weak. Some within her government resent both her gender and Western education. However, she's supported by a close network of warlords. They provide troops and weaponry to Rashida, reinforcing her control and preventing open revolt. The regime is financed by the hacker and crypto anarchist Lars Hellstrom. Wanted by multiple agencies, he threatens governments, rigs elections, and holds corporations to ransom. Together, they are the masterminds behind this offensive. We need you to shut them all down. We also have a friendly in country, Taj Tahir, a journalist and the son of one of Russia's few political opponents. He disappeared after being arrested on espionage charges. Find him. Kumar's terrain is both arid and mountainous, so getting close to a target may not be possible. We know you're a long shot specialist, so this shouldn't be a problem. Your new gear should help, especially the prototype visor. It has an enhanced battlefield display and a direct comms link to me. Rashida and her allies cannot be allowed to ignite the region. Her war must be stopped. I'll be in touch. How's the heat there, Raven? It's time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. It's equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We'd prefer it if you didn't break them. I'll run through their features on our live fire range. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. Calibrate the mask's display to your biometrics. There's a training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it up and let's begin. Roger that, Control. Take a prone position to stabilize. Switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Your scope also allows you to measure range to targets. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. A target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Splash this target. Aim for the head. Hit. Go for the next one. Next target, your 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed, and direction in your head, but we've saved you some time. Adjust for range and use the bullet drop curve to line the shot up. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Miss. Double check your scope. The elevation setting needs to match the mark. Good. Splash four more now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope.
Excellent. First target down. to go. Scope is zero now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head to the door behind you. Move through the door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. First up, Falcon Drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. Now launch it. The Falcon can see when you can't. There are two enemies behind that metal wall ahead. Locate and tag them with the drone. It has a limited battery life, but will recharge when holstered. Call it back. The drone can hack CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. Don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. in your hood too. That's Andy. You're up to speed on the drone now. There's another piece of kit on the table. Have a look. These auto turrets sync with your hood. 
You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate focus on the hostiles you tagged with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is separate from your binocular tagging. Once marked, you can execute the fire command any time. Exit binocular mode. You're done with gear familiarization. One thing I should mention, you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for overwatch, or use it to execute simultaneous shots if needs be. Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. That's all the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back. Sure you know, the record for the longest sniper kill belongs to a Canadian Special Forces operator. During the Iraq War, he hit a target over two miles away. Today's mission won't need you to hit anything that far, but it's still going to be a challenge. This operation is designated Cold Bore Zero. We're dropping you onto a plateau located within range of all three targets. Your window of opportunity is small, so hit and move. The first target here is Antoine Zaza, Rashta's favorite warlord and quartermaster. The Zaza clan are arms dealers alongside other criminal enterprises. Eliminate him and the Kuamari government will struggle to equip their militias. Your second target is a disgraced SAS officer, Captain Ronald Payne. He's in charge of the Army's tactical training and currently stationed at one of their boot camps. Your third target is Colonel Fyodor Novikov, a Russian GRU agent sent here to control logistics and supply. Removing these actors from the board will seriously hamper Rashida's plans. Stay sharp. I'll be in contact when you arrive on site. Control, do you read? This is Raven. Roger, Raven. What's your status? I've exited the Hilo, and I'm commencing recon of the plateau. Intel indicates light foot patrols and some forward observation posts only. Proceed with caution, and you should reach the sniper hides with little opposition. Understood. The plateau will provide you with three OPs which overlook each target location. They should give you a good line of sight on any hostiles. Sounds like a piece of cake. Except for the range, and with no spotter. I'm confident you won't miss. It's one of the reasons we picked you. No pressure, then. Let me know when you've reached the first OP. Roger that. Raven out.
valuables all over the place. And there's everything. Trinkets, coins, artifacts. I know, but if the captain finds out, we're really screwed. Don't worry about it. You go look at that card over there. I'll search these. I have a good feeling about it. Control, this is Raven with a sit rep. Roger, Raven. Go ahead. I'm heading for the OP overlooking the port. Good. We just received some fresh intel on Zaza. He may be conducting a deal today. Our sources tracked a known weapons supplier crossing the border earlier and heading on the main road to that location. If we're lucky, you'll catch them both. Do you have anything on the supplier's ETA? Negative. But one of the locals may have more info. Look for a hostile stationed near one of the comms relays. I'm sure they've heard the chatter. I probably won't be asking him nicely. How you do it is up to you.
I found intel on the laptop. The weapons deal is imminent. Then you'd better get set up at the OP. Control, it's Raven. I'm in position above the port. Copy that. Plan your shots carefully. Zaza's likely to run if you miss. So no alarms? Well, not before Zaza is dead at least.
good. Don't let the bastard get away. I'm on it. They go to HQ. We have him. Awaiting permission for mortar fire. Clear. Raven, we're tracking a vehicle on approach. Right side. Thanks for the heads up. It's the same make and model we spotted earlier. It's the seller. I'll make sure he doesn't leave. The dealer's on site. Focus on Zaza. He'll head to the meeting point. I've lost visual on both targets. Maybe there's some way to get the hangar doors open. I'll see what I can do. We have successfully tapped his phone. You should be able to hear them talking now. Good to see you on time for once. Are you calling me a problematic client? No, 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 no. Far from that. I'm just saying you are an arms connoisseur that makes you a challenging one. I contribute to your growth then. Good. And you contribute to the quality of my forces. Zarza's down. Impressive. Not the record, though. Not this time. Besides, this op is off the books. Nothing here you can claim. You might want to also take care of the dealer since he's already arrived. It will earn you a bonus. Zarza is down, so I might not be able to locate the dealer. We have visual he's car stopped by a big warehouse. Right side. A hangar number two. Continuing mortar fire. Stand by.
Zones 5 and 6. 